Hey everybody, it's November 13th and it's new PRS product day. I'm Rob. I'm Brett. And I'm Ed. And we're from More Music in Evansville, Indiana and moreguitars.com. So, there's been some product deletions as well as plenty of new stuff to talk about. So we're gonna try to break it down for you and make it uh, real easy to follow. And um, so we're gonna be talking about guitars today that we're not gonna see for a little while. Yeah, yet, it's gonna be a while, but uh... That's kind of become the norm. Yeah. Well, let's dive Tell into everybody it. Let's about get it. into it, man. Make them wait. <laughs> if we're going to be very thorough. Thorough? There's an there's not an L in the end of that, is there? I didn't think so. Is there? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> so What are we going to start with? So we're going to talk about SEs. So there's going there's some deletions in the SE line. There's some uh, new colors to talk about and then there's some new acoustics, some additions to the acoustic line to talk about. So let's yeah. talk about SEs, what's going away? What can we expect to, uh, you know, you better grab one now while you still can kind of deal. Chris Robinson's guitar, going by. I don't, and That's a right. shame. I don't, yeah. I can only assume that maybe there's something else coming down the pike because that, that seemed to be a, that was a good seller and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and a, one that everybody liked to talk about. Yeah. So I'm going to snatch me one up before Which, they go away. Okay. But the also the spalt, and it's getting the cool thing is is that I think the idea with the the SE uh, the SE Custom 24 spalted maple from last year is getting replaced with a Zircote. Yeah. So I think that's kind of an ongoing thing that each year they're going to come up with a new exotic. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It kind of makes it a little bit limited, and you know I got mine in 2017 or 18, yeah. whatever. So that's cool, and it, they're really nice. When we saw them at the factory, it's it's a cool, yeah. it's a nice, yeah, absolutely, it's a very nice piece of of cote. And then we've got, I think that as far as the solid bodies and the electrics go, that's pretty much it as far as SEs. Um, so now we get into a no, 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 wait no? a minute, the multi foils going. Oh, on. that's right. Um, the be, the love hated. I gotta say that wasn't my favorite. It wasn't, and I'm. I'm but not... They made that video of how they do it. And when they stopped at the silver with mm -hmm. like the base coat, it looked awesome. They've, I told Jim that they need to make that. They've done multi-foils in the past that I've liked. I yeah. wasn't crazy about this, the, the color scheme, I guess, yeah. on this one. It's a little, little bizarre. But that's it for the for electronic, electric guitars. Should we review that again? Let's do it. So going away, Chris Robertson, Custom 24 Spalted. And the multifoil. standard 24 multifoil. Yep. Coming uh, in. Coming in, custom 24 Zeracote. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that it? And I that's think all can, that's coming forth? I think we can get into the acoustics now. Yes, let's do it. So the existing acoustic models, the 40s, the A4 Angelus 40s, and the... What was the T, the Tenare 40? Tenare, mm -hmm. yeah. Those will now also be available in, I think the 40 is in a, uh, uh, the, the, their Sunburst. One's vintage mm -hmm. Sunburst and one is. So now the 40 comes in a Tobacco, tobacco Sunburst. Tobacco Sunburst, yes. And the, the 50 is going to come in a vintage Sunburst. So and the, it looks awesome. It's so extremely classy. So the A40E and the T40E now available in. Tobacco. Tobacco Sunburst. Yes. Okay. Get it straight. I'm sorry. Quit looking it's a at lot the papers to, It's on a the lot floor. to <laughs> digest in about five minutes before going live on the camera. No, it's, yeah, I mean, this is a bombardment of information. <laughs> the bombardment. Bombardment. It is a, an arsenal. Okay, so that's the 40s. Now we get into the 50s. The A50 and the T50 will now it also is be available in. Vintage. Vint vintage. Vintage. Vintage sunburst. sunburst. Yes. <laughs> So that's a, and it, these two finishes are amazing. They, <laughs> you must, they, they, they're cool. We've seen them in person yeah. and, and they, they are truly very classy, very, very well done. So it's, I like it. I can't put my leg up like that. So, and now there's going to be some additions. The acoustic, the, the new acoustic line, SE acoustic line is growing in 2019. The sales have been amazing. On the new ones, since the, they changed the, the, the quality of the guitars, are, it was just like night and day. The last year have been killer, haven't yeah. they? Indeed. What have you noticed about them? Well, they just sound better. I mean, really, it's, it's yeah. Who cares in. what they did? I mean, it's, they it's, sound better. Yeah, it's, they sound better. <laughs> they, 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 they changed the bracing, which made well, it, it was huge. Yes. Yeah. But, huge. but you're right. It's yeah. huge. 
but they sound great. Yep. And then the new, you know, bringing out, bringing, you know, the Tanari they've, they've done in private stock for so long. And then they brought the body style into yeah. the SEs and it's, it's a hit. It's I not just it. the Angelus anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. It right. is the Tanari. So in addition to now, what will be coming out in 2019 will be the A55E and the T55E, which features a quilted maple back, which is outstanding. Beautiful. And they're going to stain it in a couple of different color options. Abaco. Abaco green. And and it's it's a, I don't want to say it's bizarre because it's like PRS. It makes sense it, to have it. It's, it's very it's a, beachy. Yes. Like I want like I want to have that guitar on a beach with a drink with the umbrella. Very coconutty drink. It's not drink a big enough drink. Drink. There you coconutty go. Coconutty drink better. with a big umbrella sticking <laughs> yeah. out. Yes, at the top. The umbrella it, just gets in the way. Yeah, and then there's another uh, black gold. Black gold, the, and that's mm -hmm. very cool. You know, the black gold's by far and above, by far and away, the best-selling color on core model guitars. Yeah, and now they're putting it on the backs of these acoustics. It's going to be awesome. I haven't seen that yet. I've just seen the abaco. Yes, we kind of reminds me of your shirt color. What the abaco? Yeah. Yes, but maybe Crikey. a little more pastel. This is, this is a safari, this yes. Australian safari this shirt. Is in, this, is my, <laughs> this is my tribute to Stevie, old Stevie Irwin. And we go way back. So in addition to, we've also got coming the uh, A60E and T60E. Which is beautiful. These have Zeracote backs mm -hmm. with flame maple binding. The binding looks killer. Yeah. It's, it's very classy. And it's... It's a step up, and it's it's a special guitar. I mean, it's it's a killer acoustic. Special. It's very special. Special. Mm -hmm. Special. <laughs> very special. So that's I mean, is that the that's, end? That is the S. That's what's changing, going away, and and adding to in the SE line. Yes. That's very, and it like, it seems like this is, like. I'm going to say this again later because everywhere, everything they've done this year, I felt is the right step. There are other things I think they should do, but I feel like what they've done, they've not made any mistakes God, this time. Just tw I mean, we're getting ready to wrap up 2018. Think about how big of a year this has been. Yeah. With PRS and new product launches. Yeah. We've had the Silver Sky, the Tremonti MT-15s yep. and the little 112 cabs. Yeah. The, uh, the limited run from the experience event on the that special 22 are, semi hollows and yep. then the McCarty 594 semi hollows. Yep. Just hit after hit after hit after hit. And they do so keep coming. The hits keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's the, that I, I feel like that, you know, this has been a banner year for PRS yeah. and, it, and equally so for us. I mean, it's been amazing and I can't tell, I can't, I want to get these guitars in our hands, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I'm excited because I, I feel like Jim and the guys, they've just really got their, got things going the right direction. Ducks are in a row. The very, yeah. very, yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we need to get into the S2s, right? Yes. That's the next, next in line. Yes. So, um, I think. You know, as much as I love the Miras and the Starlas, I they have been a little bit, a little bit of a tough. They've had a tough way to go. And I feel Nobody's like that. Really those are both models them. that could make a come. I mean, those have kind of come and gone over yeah. the years anyway. So I wouldn't expect the future to be any different. They may go away for a little while, come yeah. back again at some point. Well, the Starla is special because it's it's really the only PRS that you can get a Bigsby on. Yeah. You know, and and I own one. I owned one when it was the core model, and I loved it. Yeah. You know, I just I don't play a Bigsby that often, so I I I don't have it any longer. And a guy really really wanted it, and they were discontinued at the time, <laughs> so I let him you know sold it. Got to yeah. make our customers happy. That's right. We so do, we do um, what it takes. But the Mira and the Mira semi hollow are going away. And the Starla. And the Starla. That's what's going away in the S2 line. And really, mm. as far as new, there's no new models. There's just been some additional colors added to the mix. Yes. Do you know what they are? You're fooling around, so I'm going <laughs> to quiz you. Do you know what they are? Uh, there's walnut. Yeah. Walnut, satin, satin. nitro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? Um, uh, frost, frost blue metallic. Frost green. Frost, frost green metallic. metallic. Yes. And faded 
blue smoke burst That's on awesome. certain models. On certain models. Which yes. one? The 22 and 24. Custom 22s, custom 24s, uh, single cut. And then the C22 semi hollow. So I think it was just it's custom 22, custom 22 semi hollow, yep. single cut, and single cut semi hollow. And a custom 24. Sure. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Okay. I remember. All right. Because I was excited about that. That's that's a big deal for S2 to get the. I mean, like I was saying about black gold and black gold burst being the number one, faded well blues number two. Yeah. So to be able to get that on something below a core or a CE is cool. You know sure. what I'm saying? I like it. And me likes too. So that's that's the that's the basic rundown of the of the S2 changes. The cool thing is the pictures we've gotten, the very limited amount of pictures we've gotten of the walnut color are amazing. Did you you've seen it? The, I mean via yeah, internet. Sure. Yeah. It's it's a cool, it's a very classy. Yeah, I dig it. Very classy. So um, so now we're, we're getting into CEs. Yep. CE24 has been a great addition to the line. We've been getting uh, a lot of different like custom colors in. We've had a great selection of custom 24s or CE24s, excuse me. The tops have been great, man. Yeah. I call them nine tops because they're not quite tens, but they're better than they're better than a bogus top. You know, you usually see on a lesser expensive guitar. Yeah. I like that they've been great, but yeah. now they're what are we what are we talking about? We're CE twenty fours and it's, yeah. and we're the they're colors. gonna be adding uh, yeah. What what are they? No, no new colors. <clears throat> What's the model? We're adding a semi hollow version. CE twenty four. That's semi what I'm excited about. CE twenty four semi hollow. That about time you said something. Well, you know. Are you sleeping? <laughs> no, I don't. you don't drugs. It's all more? good. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it's early. But CE24 semi hollow. Very excited about this. It's Available in uh, mm -hmm. several colors, too. Yes. Mm. Yes. There's I love it. I yeah. love it. It's, it's <laughs> quite wonderful. It's going to be quite magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. I'm digging it. Yeah. I dig it. And like I said, they're, I so feel like they're hitting on all semi cylinders. Semi hollow PRS, there's, there's a trend again back into the semi-hollow PRS so you were seeing That's more cool. you know they had the big hit with the limited run of the special 22s now we've got this well it's you know if you think about it it's not that often you see a bolt-on guitar with a semi-hollow you know I mean you got some thin line fender stuff which is cool but I mean a lot of times hollow bodies are set neck guitars you know or semi-hollows I mean, I'm not saying all of them. There's plenty of, of bolt-ons, but it's just cool that PRS is doing it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, because it's, I do, I love playing my CE24. I love, that, like, that's hanging in my office with 10 other guitars, and I play I that thing. I have one, too. I play it more than anything. I love it. The neck feels amazing. I play it as little as I play any other guitar. <laughs> <laughs> but just a little more. It was just a little more. <laughs> So then we we got to get into core, right? We're into core, bread and, and butter. Yeah, and uh, we've got not necessarily anything new, but maybe some updates to a couple of models that have been in the line previously. Let's start with what they're taking away. The, yes. The hollow body two without a piezo, right? Makes sense. Why well, I've never away. understood why you would get a hollow body two without the piezo. Right, and we've got we've we've I'd say over the past we've probably had. If we've had a hundred hollow body twos, four. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, Get a little bit of an echo. Hollow body twos. Um, <laughs> we've probably had thirty hollow without and seventy with, and we, we still sold have all 30. seven. No, <laughs> <laughs> we probably still have seven, but we've sold no, them over. We don't even, no, we don't even have that. We yeah. maybe have one left, but. But I mean, my point is, is that we've sold more than double of the with, with the pies though. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it, <clears throat> it hit a price point for some people, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, the two voice guitar thing is, it's huge. I mean, it's it's huge. I mean, it's one of those things that that in, unless you really get a great demonstration of it and hear it for yourself, and then most importantly, play it for yourself. You know, every time we do that demonstration here in the store, then it's like, you know, mm. mind blown. It opens yeah. up a whole new world, not only for the live guitar player, but even for the, the uh, 
you know, the amateur home studio guy too, which we know there's, yeah. I mean, that's a huge growing movement. Everybody's oh, yeah. getting into that. It, it's, it's easy to do now. And uh, it just, it opens up so many more doors. Well, and the one thing that, that was really cool about, and I mean, this is very obvious. You get a, you've got an acoustic pickup and you've got, a, you've got your magnetics, but the one thing that was really cool that a customer told me the other day on the phone was, he's like, yeah, I got a, I'm rhythm, I'm the rhythm guitarist. That's what he said. I'm, I'm the rhythm guitarist in the band. And we can go from playing you know, we can do uh, more than a feeling, and I can do the intro, mm -hmm. and I can, in a, like, in a semi-acoustic, you know, and I can do all these these songs, like, uh, Wanted, Dead, or Alive, mm -hmm. I can do that, I'm acoustic, and then I, I don't have to have my silly, my acoustic on the stand, like Richie Sambora, right. and do it, and then kick back to my electric. He's like, I flip the switch, and I'm in magnetic mode. I mean, and that's, I, I know I'm kind of, stating the obvious but a lot of times we talk about how church guys buy these guitars so they can have two voices at once mm -hmm. this guy this guy was really adamant about how um, how much how handy it is that you can you know have you can be that guy that can play two guitars at once or mm -hmm. one at a time and mm -hmm. immediately switch over but if you're, or you're just in a small group and you can immediately double your sound yeah so to speak yeah and, and that's you don't that's, have to hire another guitar player in the band right yes why would we want to do that <laughs> substandard people no but in in the thing you know and to me i'm going to say this and i'm very very like i i i don't know what the right word is i'm very firm in saying this that it the acoustic pickup in a hollow body two sounds better than 80% of the acoustic guitars with acoustic pickups. You're really saying something now. I, I'm, and I believe in it. I say it. Kick my ass. <laughs> and call me Judy. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I seriously think so. You hear that. The first time I ever heard it was Brock when he played his live at a little coffee, not a coffee shop, but a restaurant. It was laid back and it sounded amazing. It's like, I'm getting one. Yeah. No. I own one and I'm very happy about it. Very cool. So anyway, that was a long story to tell them like we got to tell everybody they got rid of a lot of a, of a guitar. One, one thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, moving on. Moving on. What have we Paul's, gained? Paul's guitar makes a comeback. Well, I guess it kind of made a comeback at the earlier in 2018 at the experience of <clears throat> Yeah. Um, not a new guitar, but some improvements. I think, you know, Paul's that He's always tinkering. He's always like, okay, this is great. How do I make this better? Yeah. Um, so what they've done, the, 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 the new version, the newest version of the Paul's guitar has an improved pickup. What is it? The TCI. So it's an acronym. The last letter stands for inductance. That's what I got on it. And I had to call him up and find out exactly what it is. Yeah. You got any input on that? I really don't. I was hoping um, you guys would have something on it. Well, we're going soon to the factory. You know, we'll be sitting down and having dinner. I'm going to get to the, the bare the bones of this. of this thing and see what's going on. But, you know, if it's in Paul's guitar, it's either going to be, well, it's, it's going to be better. It's going to be cool. And they've opened it, it's a nitro finish now, and yeah. they've opened it up to, you can get a 10 top or a non 10 top, and there's a, a that's what several cool. colors that you, that you have to choose from now. Too. What was it called, a dirty artist before? They called it like a, the only type of finish was, it was better than a 10 top, but not quite an artist mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. They called it a dirty artist package, mm -hmm. something like that, so. I'd have never heard anybody call it that. Well, that's what I heard. <laughs> And hearsay is true. <laughs> it holds up. But that's what I've heard, you know, people talking about at the factory. That's yeah. kind of what they call it. Yeah. So that's cool that you can get it in other, you know, qualities of finish. Yeah. Or qualities of tops, I should yeah. say, not finish. Um, and we cool. also have the new and improved DGT. <laughs> I said it first. That's a guitar that really seems to have made a comeback, a strong comeback. Yeah. 
Um, it seems like there's a lot of people, a lot of chatter about that guitar, a lot of people picking up those guitars again. People are starting to appreciate what it's about, you know. Yeah. It's got a good vintage tone, got the versatility with the with the knobbage like it has. Yeah. I just coined that term. Knobbage? Knobbage. I don't think, I think I've heard that before. You have? I can't well, tell you where. Well, then I did it. <laughs> you heard it from me. But yeah, the three knobs, you know, what is it? Two volumes Is that a us? <laughs> <laughs> three knobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just uh, like that. <laughs> shut the video off. No, but it's. So let's talk about what's different now with the DGT. Let's do it. So previously, the DGT had a bound rosewood fingerboard, which it will not. It will now. not. Um, the neck changes a little. To no. David, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Slightly different neck carve. Okay. Right. Sure. Slightly different neck carve. I think it maybe goes back to the original neck that was on it. It's kind of evolved over the years, and I think David kind of said he wants to go back to that. Mm -hmm. He's like, he grabbed one of his old ones or something like that. I, I'm not going to say that that story is 100% true, but I think I heard overheard that and uh, that he's just like, man, let's go back to this. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's a, a part of it. It's also available in about six different nitro finishes. Um, still has the jumbo frets. Yeah. And they've upgraded the bridge to the Gen 3 tremolo bridge. Yep. And uh, no more uh, veneer. No more veneer on the uh, peg head. Yep. Hmm. And I think he, I think it's all to go back to, I don't want to say the original DGT because I don't think they want to go back to that, but I think it, it's, it's like just to get it back looking like mm -hmm. the DGT. And you can still get it with moons, but you can order it with birds. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very good updates to the, the brand. I'm excited. I can't wait to, like you said earlier, I can't wait to get some of these guitars in the shop, get them in our hands, get some videos Do, made. Yeah, and let and, people see them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, the, you know, the one thing that I like is that, that the SE line is really taking off now. Mm -hmm. S2 is starting to get some feet under it, and, you know, it's been four or five, five years or so since the S2 line came out and everything's, it feels like everything's going in the right direction. They're not making these wholesale changes and they're not taking away things they don't need to take away. They're, and like the core line didn't really change. And I think to me, I interpret that as it's going well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's going well and there's no need to make a bunch of changes. Mm -hmm. S2 is going good. They took away the ones that are I don't want to say oddballs because you could say that the Vela is the biggest oddball of the crew other than the Starla having the Bigsby, but it's like the Vela's selling well mm -hmm. and, you know, the Mira and the Starla have ran its thing. You're even starting to see private stock Velas, which is very interesting. Yeah, we've done a couple. Yeah. Sold a couple. And, uh, you know, speaking of the DGT, with the new specs, we've got 10 of those buns in the oven, wood library. Nice. Yeah, 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 we've already got some uh, wood library stuff ordered. So they're in route, you yeah. know. So whenever you see these coming out, you know, the DGTs in production, you can come to us and see some really special tops on these babies. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, it's going to be it's going to be cool. Yeah. I'm very excited. So I think that kind of wraps up the uh, with no further ado, no pro new product today. Seriously, if you want some help, call us, email, chat, any, you know, send a letter. Whatever and if you want to get something on order, the we're, we're ready to take your order. All the new product is available on the website right now for pre-order. Unfortunately, yeah. it's going to be a little while. I think everybody knows the drill. But uh, yeah. if you want to be one of the first ones to get one of these new products, uh, you can order it now with us. Yeah. Top four, top three, four or five dealer in the world. They give us, we get a lot of product early. So. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it reminds me, if you like us on Facebook, More Guitars on Facebook, and you actually see me demoing one of these guitars, then that's a guarantee that it's actually physically in the store. Yeah. So, but yeah, the pre-orders are up and ready to rock, and we are extremely excited to help you. We want you to get We're going to have another days. big year with PRS in 2019. Here Let's we go. It. Yeah. Fist bumpage. Yeah. All right. Knobbage. <laughs> we